Okay, boys, so you should have now translated the whole story of Tarquinius Caesar's the Throne on page 194 and 195 of the textbook. If you haven't, don't watch this video yet. Uh, you need to watch the introductory video um, before you do the translation, and then you need to do the translation before you watch this one, okay? Um, also, if you've done it but you've rushed through it, pause the video, go back, check and make sure that you're happy with it. There is no point translating in a rush and not thinking about the tenses of verbs, uh, the cases of nouns. If you haven't bothered thinking about that stuff, then your translation is going to be rubbish and you're going to watch this video um, and get really annoyed with yourself because you'll have got it all wrong. So go back, give yourself the best chance of getting this right because it's a good time to practice now before the real exam in a couple of weeks time. Okay, so this is the first paragraph that you should have translated on your own. Um, so the last we'd heard in the first paragraph was that uh, Tarquinius' wife was very encouraging of him, saying, you've got to take back your kingdom, you should be king, uh, crack on with it, basically. And uh, as it said, uh, she's managed to persuade him. So starting with this paragraph then, Tarquinius Coepit began to judicare, to criticise the king publicly and to give gifts new to plural donna to the rich senators okay so you can see he's annoying the uh, the man in charge and he's getting the other people just below the king on his side um senatoribus is dative divitibus is dative which is why you know that those two words agree with each other then he gathered the soldiers together. So collegate means gathered together. If you started by translating milites, then you've not looked at the verb. The verb collegate is singular. The verb eat is also singular. So it can't be those soldiers doing the action. So then he gathered together the soldiers and went to the Senate house. Remember verbs that are the letter I with an ending are to do with going. In cellar said it. He sat on the throne and, sorry, it's auto corrected there, that should be Senator Res, uh, and he ordered the senators to call the king. And then we've got add say. Remember, say is reflexive, it always refers back to whoever is doing the action. Okay. Um, so the person doing the action here is Tarquinius. He's the one who sat in the throne. He's ordered the senators. So he wants them to call the king to him. You could say to himself. It won't really make a lot of sense in English. But the whole sentence, therefore, is he sat in the throne and ordered the senators to call the king to him. And the reason that say is say rather than aum is because it's reflexive. It's going back to the original person who did that verb. Next sentence. Remember to get rid of the speaking bit before you do the stuff inside uh, the quotation marks. So irate, clamavit, we're going to get rid of first this time. So he shouted angrily, Servius is a slave and the son of a slave. Servi being genitive. I am, some, the chief and the son of a king. I've just checked the uh, the textbook. It's telling us that princeps here is going to mean prince. Sorry. So I am a prince and the son of a king. You, senators, non legistis, did not choose. Perfect tense. Aum regem. So aum can mean him. And here it would make sense, but you're going to have to put in the word as before you say king. Because you're otherwise you're saying, you did not choose him the king. So instead, nicer English, you senators did not choose him as king. Femina mala, a bad woman. Marta mea, my mother. Fecit eum regem, made him king. Not being very nice about his mum. Servius Cupit 
watch out for the tense. This isn't perfect tense anymore. It's present. So he's, he's describing what's going on. Servius wants to give Dare f your fields. Vestros is your. Your fields. Uh, and then plebe, sorry, another autocorrect. That should say plebe. To the common people. Why is he saying this to the senators? Well, of course the senators are going to be angry if he's saying to them, your king right now wants to give all your money and your wealth and your lands to all the common poor people. We don't want that to happen. We don't want the poor people getting any ounce of your money. So he says, Servius wants to give your fields to the common people. It's where we get the word plebs from, unfortunately. And then the final sentence, regnum romanum delebit, bit is future tense. Remember to watch out for that when we have speech. So he will destroy the Roman kingdom. Do not start with these words. They are accusative. So he will destroy the Roman kingdom. Okay, next paragraph. Servius, the king, um, Audivit, heard. So there is a verb at the end here, festinavit, uh, but there's also Audivit first. So Servius, the king, heard de verbis malis tarquini about the bad words, the evil words of Tarquinius, Tarquinius genitive, and he hurried to the Senate house. The young man, however, took the old man and threw him fiercely to the ground. Yak it from Yakio, I throw. The friends of the king at once fled. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? If the king has just been thrown to the ground, he's clearly got a very violent, strong enemy here. You'd want to be running away. Okay, so now we're up to Amici Juvenis. The friends of the young man, Calerita Necaverunt, quickly killed Servius. Then Tullia, remember this was Tarquinius's wife, uh, was driving a curum, a curum is a chariot, a chariot to the Senate house. And then in the next sentence, we've got uh, two accusers. And in the next sentence, we've got two accusatives again. So maritum and then regum, sorry, regem. Uh, we don't want to translate them first. And we've got to think about how we're going to piece them together when we get to them. So let's start with the verb kupivit. She wanted to greet her husband, maritum, and then regem as king so we're going to put in another as uh, she wants to go there see him realize that he's the king remember she was very excited about the idea of him becoming king earlier on Araga is the charioteer and then aos is the genitive of is aya or id so it either means of him of her or of it so if it's auriga aos it's the charioteer of someone well, we've just been told that Tullia is making her way to the Senate house in a chariot, so it's going to be of her. But instead of the charioteer of her, we can say her charioteer suddenly saw the body of Servius in the street. And then we've got speech, so let's get rid of the verb of speech first. So he shouted, halt, mistress. Don't then start with the accusative, go to the verb video. I see your father in the street. Tullia, however, did not halt. She whipped the horses, flagellavit. Where we get the word flagellate from, if you whip something. Um, she eggits, she drove the chariot over the body of her father. So if you thought Tarquinius was unpleasant, I mean, I think his wife might have outdone him. Okay, and then the final paragraph of this gory story. Okay, so the name of the street, VI being genitive, um, today is the street of crime, Vicus Scelaratus. Uh, and then in the next phrase, we'll have a proper look at all the words. You'll notice that the nominative uh, this time is in the middle. So Tarquinius had obtained the kingdom with a savage crime. Skelos being the word for crime. And then in the next sentence again, your nominative is in the middle. Tullia had foida verat 
she had defiled Patrem Suam, her father. Remember, little words beginning with uh, S refer back to the doer of the verb. This time it's a possessive, so it means his or her. And because we know the doer of the verb here is Tullia, it must be her father. In fact, there's another typo there, sorry. It should be Suam uh, Patrem, not Suam Patrem, the typos in the textbook as well. So uh, she had defiled her father uh, with a savage crime as well, in the same way that Tarquinius had. Next sentence, Tarquinius ordered the citizens to leave Relinquale, the body of Servius in the street. So it's getting grimmer and grimmer here. Uh, and then we've got speech, but again, let's get rid of uh, the introduction of the speech. So he shouted angrily, Nekabo, remember to watch out for the future tense in speech. I will kill him who, okay, so bear with, I will kill him who, Sepeliet means bury. So I will kill him who will bury, because it's the future tense, the Senem Malum, the evil old man. So think about what he might be trying to say there. You might want to put in the word man, I will kill the man who will bury the evil old man. Or even I will kill anyone who will bury the evil old man. And the final sentence, the Romans therefore gave cognomen superbum, probably one of the most famous nicknames ever. Uh, so the vocabs told us that cognomen means extra name. Uh, so the Romans therefore gave the extra name Superbus to Tarquinius the king. Uh, Superbus um, in Latin. I mean, in the vocab, they've just told you to translate it as Superbus because that was his name, Tarquinius Superbus, but it means arrogant. Um, and it's a word that because of that king uh, then became really uh, heavily associated with how awful it was when they'd had kings in Rome and how terrible Tarquinius was and how much of a dictatorship things used to be. Um, and as we've mentioned before, uh, this is kind of the final um, drops of kingdom in Rome and a republic will be established after this. Um, but eventually, again, as we know, Julius Caesar comes along and starts messing that up, makes himself sole dictator, and then uh, the empire is created. So we then have emperors. And the one thing that the emperors want is not to be associated with these kings back in ancient Rome because everyone knows they were superb. Or so they were arrogant, they were powerful, they were selfish. Uh, they did things um, not for the benefit of Rome itself. Okay, so that is the story Tarquinius seizes the throne. If there is anything there that you're confused about, please let me know. And obviously check over the grammar because the grammar is the most important thing to be thinking about uh, in the lead up to the summer exam.